What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders Awakened. Now one of the things that is in PTR testing right now and it's kind of the big enchilada is without a doubt Endless Mode. Uh, endless Survival is coming to DDA and I gotta say it is not only super fun, it's just at a really good state. Now, Endless Survival is going to kind of combine the best of both worlds for casual and hardcore players as it does allow players to push it to the absolute limit. So, Endless Scaling, it will keep going up. Um, it's already been confirmed by the player base that it does go over Wave 1000. So, we know that Wave 1000 Plus is going to be a thing. However... Not every player out there is going to have a bajillion hours to sit there and dump into Endless Survival Mode. And that is where it kind of turns into a best of both worlds sort of thing. As every five waves as you go through, you're going to unlock save points where you can then start that survival wave at the current highest that you've been to. So say one day you only have time to make it to say wave 50, and then the next day you're going to be able to go from 50 to 75, and then the next day 75 to 120, or whatever the case is, depending on how much time you have to invest. Now, this is quite exciting, because like I said, it literally combines the best of both worlds. Uh, if you really want to test your limits, you can push it as high as you want to go and there's no time limit so you don't have to get it all done in one sitting you don't have to leave your computer running overnight and you will get enough mana to start these high waves i've done quite a few wave 100 starts already myself and you get enough mana to fully build and fully upgrade the entire map before you even get started so ramping it up uh, once you do one of those late starts is a non-issue as you get all the mana you are able to get the job done uh, with what is available. Now, how do you access these Wave 25 starts? Now, first off, a couple of important things to note. First off, Lycan King or Bonus Wave difficulty will no longer be Bonus Wave difficulty. It's now going to be just a bonus difficulty. I'm currently playing on the Lycan King bonus difficulty, meaning that all of the loot from here on out is going to be the quality of Lycan King bonus waves, no matter how high I push in survival. So if you've got the time and you want to push your limits and you want to be in the maximum potential loot pool the whole time, then Endless Survival is the thing for you. Now, what do you do here to get through that? Well, you know, as you see, our regular one wave 25 is now over. Uh, let's go check on our shinies. We should have a uh, very nice fusion pet from this one. Where is it? Where is it? Is it hiding from me? It's in this mess, isn't it? There it is. Fuse little bomber. That's terrible. Terrible. Why couldn't it have rolled a little higher quality? But the fuse little bomber is a hot, hot item right now. Uh, definitely one you're going to want to farm out once this update goes live, no doubts. Uh, however, so we completed our wave 25. Uh, let me not focus on the little bomber here. We're going to go ahead and go to the map summary, and it looks like the thing is over, right? Now, if we click view summary, we are going to get the option to continue. Uh, we continue, you see up in the top right corner, it is now ticked over to wave 26, and we can keep on going. Now, what does this mean for victory chests? Um, so like that little bomber pet I got out of the victory chest there, we are going to get another one of those victory chests with the map specific rewards every five waves. So at wave 30, I'm going to get another little bomber pet, uh, plus those fusion items that drop on this map uh, on wave 35, another one, etc., etc. So if you do decide to push, and get up into 100 plus waves, you're gonna have quite a good chance at pet drops, uh, rifted armor drops, whatever the case, anything that would come from that victory chest, you're gonna continue to get those every five waves as well. Now this works the same way with bosses. If it's a boss map, uh, say we were on Alk Labs or the Summit, every five waves, you're gonna have another boss fight and the boss fights do scale up and get quite challenging. Um, I haven't really pushed any of them to the limit yet, but I know that the summit boss gets 
crazy up there into like the 35, 40, 35 to 40 billion health range, just single player at like wave 100. So things get quite dicey, no doubt about it. Uh, and then addition to that, every five waves since you're getting that boss, that means you're getting that boss victory chest and those boss rewards as well. Now, if you have any questions at all about Endless Survival, the only question that everybody's going to want to know that I cannot answer because I don't know is when. Um, it's still in testing. It's on the PTR server. If you play on Steam right now, you are able to pop in and check it out. Every player on PC is able to do so. As far as when it's going to roll out to other platforms, it won't be long, but we don't know when. It'll be sometime in the coming weeks. But that will do it for now. Thanks an absolute ton for watching, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.